Virtual Anatomy Lab, or the VAL as we call it, is really designed to complement the student's traditional gross anatomy experience. So what do we have? Left thyroid lobe, right thyroid lobe, cartilage in the middle? You're able to compare you know, high definition images on the virtual anatomy tables to what you see in the cadavers. And then combining those two things together, translating that into like a patient environment when you have patient contact has really enhanced my understanding of anatomy and physiology as a whole. As many opportunities as we can have to look at different structures and manipulate and change the viewpoint, I think is a really good opportunity to just make sure you're covering all your bases in terms of student strengths and weaknesses. So we're really excited, I think, about the effect the VAL can have on early learners, our first and second year students. And that's mainly because we think we've got a great opportunity to begin correlating medical imaging and radiology alongside learning anatomy the traditional way. Do you guys feel the thyroid issue swallows? Careful consideration was put into the design of the lab so that we would simulate what and occurs in an actual clinical reading room. Right below the mandible, there was asymmetry on the left. So we have a dual monitor set up and these students have their own computer system for viewing anonymized real cases that come from our Yukon system. That's why his chin is so Anatomy weird. is predominantly displayed via radiology exams, whether it's radiographs or CTs or MRIs. And so having that foundational knowledge of interpreting it from the get-go, I think will definitely put these students at an advantage. All right, can anybody identify what we're seeing already? We see the right lobe. The right lobe is here, it's a structure right here. Patients get scans all the time and being able to learn firsthand how to interpret them, how to read them, how to understand them, help me out immensely in the clinics. And you guys did your pulse Doppler, see if you can get that right in the center. Using these modalities as well in terms of getting the radiology experience, ultrasound experience, and then using the tables, um, you know, it allows you to change up how you're thinking about things. And we think it really helps students to solidify their learning of anatomy and at the same time start to learn about this important new technology that they'll be using throughout their careers.